welcome back to our channel. I'm Emily, co-owner and designer at Rustic Passion Studio. Today I have a tutorial for you on creating glitter epoxy pens. Um, this is going to be a fun little tutorial. We've got four different designs that we'll go over as well as different applications of vinyl and water slides as well. I will also be doing a review on the tools I use to create my epoxy pen. And I like to use a company from Imagine called Imagination 3D. There are 3D printed tools um, and they're really easy to use. I love this system and I will go over all of this and everything I used in my tutorial as well. So go ahead and follow along. Thanks. We're going to start off with prepping our pens. I used a variety of different colored paper mate ink joys here. And later in the video, you'll also see another pen I use that's kind of a rose gold copper tip and clicker. And that one's from Happy Fox Supply Company. And I will have those listed in the description box down below. <clears throat> this is the pen tray from Imagination 3D. And it's a handy little tray that has each little box listed out with what to put in them. The clickers, the pens, the tubes. Um, and so it works out really well when you're just taking them all apart and you can separate everything in the tray and stand up your inks on the side. Once the pens are all taken apart, you're going to start by removing all of the clips at the tops of the pens. I do this just by grabbing them and twisting them around a time or two until they fall apart. Once the clips are all removed, I use the nail clippers to go ahead and trim up the bumps that are kind of left from the plastic sticking up from the clips. And then there's a little bump right below the clips. It's just like a little knob. And then on the back side, there is those little hearts at the top. And I just like to shave those down as well so that they don't stick up, especially if you're doing a design without glitter or just a thin layer of glitter. After I get all those bumps clipped off, I'm going to move on to sanding the pens. I like to use a 60 grit sanding block as well as a sheet of 220 wet dry sandpaper. I focus on those bumps first where we clip the, the bumps down and then I'll move on and go work my way around the entire pen. Another thing that works really well for these bumps is a nail file, just a regular emery board with a high coarse um, high grit to it and since they're small and fit in your hand they work really well for just kind of sanding down those rough spots. I will have all the products that I've been showing you guys here linked down below as well. Next we're going to move on to spray painting the base layer of our pens. To do this we, I use the little pen attachment stand and then the clips. Each clip just goes right into the bottom of the pen tubes and they fit nice and snug and then the clips just will go right into those little honeycomb holes on the stand. You'll know that they're in place when you kind of feel a little click to them there's a certain direction that they have to go. You can kind of see the honeycomb is longer width in one direction and the clips just fit right into there. 
On this gold pen from the Happy Fox Supply, I had to wrap a little bit of tape around one of the clips because it's a little bit smaller, or larger I should say, inside of the pen tube, and I needed a little bit more room to keep it snug and tight on there. Then I grabbed these yellow plugs. I will link those below in my description. And I put one of those on the top of every pen. And that just helps so that I don't get any of the spray paint inside of the tubes to keep them nice and clean so it's easy to clean them all up when I am finished. I use a few different colors since I'm making each pen a little bit differently. Um, and then attach what's called the saber on the bottom of the clips. It just slides right on. I kind of notice one end is fits a little bit better than the other. And that just helps to give you a little bit extra length to hold on to when you're spray painting. Um, sorry about the <laughs> bad view angles right here. We were getting ready to move and everything was pretty packed up so I didn't have a lot of space to work in. But I just did about one to two coats on every pen and then was ready to move on to the epoxy stage or the glitter stage. So I just mixed up a really small amount. I think I did like 10 milliliters of epoxy. Um, did not need anywhere near that much but just wanted to make sure I had enough to mix it thoroughly and correctly and um, add some glitter to each one. As I mentioned before I made these videos as we were getting ready to move so all my glitter is actually packed up, but I had all these little samples handy from Charm City Sparkle and Craft. She always sends out one to three different samples of every order. So those are fun and easy to grab, perfect amount since you don't need very much for your pens. I'm mixing up a golden yellow here to use for a sunflower and bee wrap I'm going to do later. I think it was just peachy and you are, or no, sorry, tiger lily and you are my sunshine. So it gave it a um, little bit of dimension, some different shapes and sizes to the glitter in those. I used a little snow caps mica powder to mix in with my epoxy to give it a little bit of a pearl for the base layer. This is a beautiful white epoxy that almost looks like a glitter, um, kind of acts like one too a little bit, but I just mixed that in. And then the rest of the colors I use for my glitter on my pens, I will have listed in the description box below. You'll also notice I still have the little plugs in the tops of the pens, and I leave those in while I apply the epoxy and glitter to make sure none of that gets inside of the pen. But right when I'm done applying the epoxy, I do remove those just so it does not adhere to the pen at all and it just leaves it nice and clean. On some of these chunkier mixes of the glitters that I did on the pens, I do go back through when I'm all finished glittering and tear off a piece of parchment paper and just kind of use that to pat them down to make sure they are completely smooth without any chunks sticking up. It'll make it a lot easier when you go to epoxy it to make sure everything is flattened down. Once your glitter layer is completely dry, you are ready to move on to the epoxy stage. The attachment tool you, you will use for your turner is just called a pen attachment, and it slides right onto your PVC or turner arms. There's two different sizes available on the website, the half inch and three quarter inch. I'm using the MH turners, and mine are three quarter inch, so that's what I'm using. 
Um, there's just like a tiny little bolt in there that you slide it onto the arm and then tighten it so that it doesn't go anywhere. Then I mixed up, again, just a small amount of epoxy, maybe 15 milliliters here. Um, and I just throw the extra that I don't use into a little mold to save it. And then I like to just hold on to the clips and use one finger or my hand to apply a very thin layer of epoxy. Um, since this is going over the glitter, um, you want to make sure you have enough to completely soak in and cover them, but not too much that it's going to pool on the ends. And I do not use the plugs on this stage on the top part. I just make sure that I slide the epox epoxy all the way up to the tip, but I make sure I don't bend my hand, hand down and get anything inside of there so that there's nothing to clean up later and they stay very clean. Then you can just clip it right into your pen attachment tool and turn on your turner. Um, I do, this one holds up to six pens at a time, I believe, and then they do have a larger one available now that's like double that. So I do each pen and then I'll turn, usually turn my turner off and clip in the next pen um, and then just turn them on in between coats just to make sure that they're not sitting there and pooling in between. I apply two layers of epoxy over the glitter and once those have dried I move on to cleaning the pens up. I go ahead and use an exacto knife to just kind of clean inside of the tubes on the top and bottom and make sure there's not any ridges and that everything is smooth and then if there's any bumps from chunky glitter along the sides of the pen I go ahead and, and trim that off as well. I also have a sanding block close by so I can smooth down any ridges and then the top and the bottoms after I clean them up. Next we are ready to clean up our space and move on to the decal portion. For this first one I am just using some temporary tattoos that I received off of Amazon. Um, they work kind of just like a water slide so I'm going to cut out the one that I want to use and then I'll determine where I want that to be on the pen. And then I'll go ahead and cut out around the design. And once you place this on the pen, you can't really lift it up. So you want to make sure you get it where you want it on the first try. Then I just kind of, this one um, is a little bit larger, so it'll kind of wrap around the pen. So I do one half at a time and I'll fold down one side and I have a wet paper towel handy, kind of just like you would apply a temporary tattoo to yourself. And I will just go ahead and get that wet on one end. And once that has adhered, I go ahead and fold the rest of the tattoo around the pen, get it wet as well, and then just peel off the paper backing and you will be all set. For the next design, I'm using a little sunflower water slide that I printed out. And I'm just going to cut all the way around the edge of this exactly to the design. These are made as a full wrap and should fit uh, seamlessly around your pen. So for the water slide, I've got a bowl of water handy that we're just going to set that in and wait for it to um, about 30 seconds to a minute and let it so that it slides off of the paper easily. Then we have this little stand, a uh, little pen stand, and there's two attachments for it. You use a regular, regular clip on one side, and then it should come with another little golden clip for the other side. Um, and you will use that to place your pen, and it allows you to apply decals easily. Um, for the water slide, I was trying to use it and spin it, and it turns out I didn't quite like it as much for applying a full water slide. But for applying like a name decal or something that's just going to go horizontally on the pen, it worked out perfectly. For this next pen, I decided to add some striping to it. 
So I just printed some long rectangles on my silhouette on a black vinyl. I think I sized them at a 0.2 and then I will just apply those evenly around the pen. I did not mark this out where they needed to go. I just kind of eyeballed it, um, but you could definitely mark out and make hashtags so that they were evenly spaced throughout the pen. And then after all the black lines were applied, I used the nail striping tape for the tiny little gold lines on the top and the bottom of each black stripe. And then pinstriping nail tape is really easy to use. Um, you don't have to worry about cutting it on your machine. And it comes on a little roll, so it's pretty handy um, for all those little stripes that you can do on cups or pens or whatever you'd like. Moving on to my final design, I used the print and cut on some printable vinyl to apply some tropical leaf foliage around the pen. The leaves were quite detailed, so these did um, have difficulty cutting. In the future, I used some clear water slides for this portion, and those worked out great. Um, they were also a little bit smoother than the printable vinyl, so it just kind of depends on the look you're going for. After I applied my tropical leaf vinyl, I went ahead and printed out some tiny little leopard spots, I think only about like a quarter inch in size, and just kind of placed those randomly around the pen in any of the open, open white areas. After I had all the black vinyl spots on, I went ahead and used a metallic paint pen to fill in between the spots with a little bit of color. I originally started with the metallic gold, but remembered that I had kind of rose gold copper tips on my pen, so I went over top of those again with the copper marker to help them match just a little bit better. After the decals are all placed, I went ahead and applied two layers of epoxy to each pen to finish them up. After your epoxy has cured, it's time to clean up your pens and reassemble them. 
I take my X-Acto knife and again just go on the top and the bottom of each pen to make sure that they are all smooth and no epoxies on the inside. And then I go ahead and take a straw cleaning brush and just kind of push it throughout the pen a couple of times to clean out any loose glitter flecks or epoxy flecks from sanding. Um, and then you can assemble them. I really enjoyed this pen making set from Imagination 3D. The clips and the attachments and the stands all made it super easy to create epoxy pens and they stay very clean and I've never had one get stuck to the clips before unlike pencils or straws or anything like that. So I would definitely highly suggest them. Um, I will link their description and their website down below. Thank you for following along today. If you don't already, go ahead and like and subscribe.